Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Ty Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the ice cream stitch. So as always, I don't like the dawdle, so let's get started. So as you can see here, I have my swatch of this ice cream. To me, they kind of look like muffins, but we're going to stick with the ice cream idea. I came up with this idea because I was coming, trying to think of a new stitch, and it looked like ice cream cones. So I'm going to use a goldenrod and a pink. Um, they're not the same categories, but this is just for tutorials, so just to get the idea. Let me chaining 26 I'm going to skip the first chain and I'm going to make a row of half double crochets so when I come back I will have a row of 25 half double crochets so now I have my row of half double crochets now we're going to incorporate that golden rod in there so I'm going to take out this stitch here because I have to add my other yarn <clears throat> So go yarn over, go in and proceed. Do not pull up a loop because you're going to add that golden rod in there and then pull your loop up and pull through. And make your half double crochet. If I can get it through, you have to excuse my yarn. It's kind of janky. It's just for our tutorial. <clears throat> so now you want to chain two and turn your work. Now we're going to make another row of half double crochets going across. Make sure that you're incorporating your pink yarn. Do not cut off your pink yarn unless that's what you want to do. But at the end, when you're all done, you're going to have a lot to weave in. So this is a lot easier to just go ahead and crochet in your yarn along with it. Okay, so I have my row of half double crochets and I... Um, stopped before the last stitch. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this pink. So go into your stitch and grab your pink. Yarn over and pull through all your stitches. You've made your last half double crochet with your golden rod and you've switched colors. So you're going to chain, I think I chained one, and then go ahead and we're going to begin our stitch, our ice cream stitch. So our first set of stitches we're going to make, and I did chain two, our first set of stitches we're going to make some half double crochets. So remember to incorporate your yarn with you if this is what you want to do. Um, if not, you can add it as you go along, but you will have to do a lot of weaving in your ends. So I'm going to do a um, four half double crochets across. Now, once you make your four half double crochets, you're going to switch colors. So when you get to your last half double crochet, you put in your hook and yarn over, but don't go through with your pink. You're going to switch out to your golden rod, yarn over and pull through. Now you have your four half double crochets. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to make three double crochets into this one space. Remember to bring your color along as you go. When I get to the end and I only have two left on my hook, I'm going to switch out my color, yarn over and pull up a loop and continue on. In your next three stitches, you're going to make a half double crochet with your pink. Make sure you bring in that golden rod yarn. Make sure you're crocheting that in so you don't have to worry about it. Remember, don't forget when you make your half double crochet, you're going to go in with halfway, pull up that loop, drop your pink yarn, and pick up that golden rod yarn over, and then continue on. I'm back at the end here, and I've made my last cone. I'm going to go ahead and make my half double crochets all the way across to the end. <clears throat> now we're going to switch our colors again. So we're going to go in with this last half double crochet with the pink. <clears throat> I'm going to notice I made a boo boo in a second, but as, um, I don't think I did. Let me see. Hold on. 
no I have we have we're gonna we're switching out our colors here so um, go in I'm gonna take this out here and I'm gonna switch out for the golden rod so I'm gonna make my last half double crochet here remember put in your hook and pull up a loop and then switch out your color yarn over and pull through all of those loops and chain two <clears throat> Okay, so now I've chained two and I've turned my work. I'm going to make four and a half double crochets in these across. Make sure you're incorporating your pink yarn so you don't have to do any extra weaving. Make these four and a half double crochets. When you get close to your ice cream cone, you're going to switch out your color for that last half double crochet. So now go into your stitch, pull up your loop, switch out your color, yarn over and pull through all of your loops. Now skip that first double crochet, go into the next double crochet with a bobble stitch. <clears throat> so when you do chain through two, pull up your next set, uh, pull through your golden rod and chain one, go into your next set of stitches. You're going to skip that next double crochet stitch and go right into your half double crochets with the golden rod. That's four half double crochets. This is two. I'm sorry, that was three. And this is four. Now we're going to switch out our color real quick. Add that pink and pull through. Now you skip the first stitch, first double crochet. Remember when we made that three double crochet cluster? So you skip the first one and make your bobble stitch into there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again for the third time. Pull through two only. Now switch out your color and then pull the rest of the way through. Let's do that again. Chain one. Go into your next set of stitches with your golden rod with your four half double crochets going across. That's one. Two. Three, we're only making three, I'm sorry. Three half double crochets. When you make, um, <clears throat> now in the third one, you're going to switch out your color again. Yarn over, over <laughs> with your golden rod. Go in, pull up a loop, drop that golden rod, pick up your pink, yarn over and go through all of your loops to make that half double crochet. Yarn over, skip that first double crochet, go into the next double crochet with a bobble stitch. Pull through two, you have two on the hook, yarn over, go back in again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two again, you have three, and one more time, yarn over, pull up a loop, only go through two, drop your color, pick up your other color, Yarn over and pull through all three <clears throat> and chain one. And now I'm making my four half double crochets going across. Remember, you start off with four half double crochets. In between, you will have three half double crochets. And at the end, when you're done, you should have four half double crochets left over. That will give you 25 uh, stitches going across well with the exception of the few that you skipped so when I come back I'll be at the other end and now I've made my last half double crochet and I'm going to show you what the swatch looks like in a moment 
So this is what we have so far. We have these rolls here with all of the ice cream cones. When you're done, you can finish it off with a roll of half double crochets. You can switch out the colors. You can um, make it all one color. It's completely up to you. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.